taking aim at your government, saying that the banking and insurance companies have large exposure in Adani stocks. You know, and uh, the investors and the broader market is looking to you for some direction on this issue. Uh, are, is our banking and insurance system resilient to take this shock? I want to um, recall the words, you know, coming from the horse's mouth has greater credibility. Both the SBI and LIC have issued detailed statements. And I know the chairperson or the CMD has himself come out and explained how they are not overexposed or whatever they said. Yes. And also said, look, we are sitting over profits for the exposure that we have, which is well within the limit. That's what I understand they have yes. said. And I've uh, uh, again read it through the media. They have, they have very clearly said that they are exposure is very well within the permis permitted limits and that they are even now with the valuation falling as well they are still sitting over profit so if that is the horse's mouth as I refer to word from the horse's mouth but in general both with the RBI we do have the financial stability boards meeting which happens once in six months we meet yes. even recently we have met so I can only very clearly say both the RBI and we, because of the FSB's meeting, Financial Stability Board's meeting, know that the Indian banking system, if anything, at this stage, for me to use this word, I want to use it with a sense of responsibility, like having gone through the twin balance sheet problem, Indian banking sector today is at a comfortable level with their NPAs coming down to absolutely low levels, yes. recovery is happening, yes. and their uh, position is very sound, which gets reflected in the fact that when they go to raise monies in the market, they are absolutely comfortably raising monies as well. Yes. So the entire macroeconomic analysis, which any expert would do, also highlights the fact that how comfortable the Indian banks are placed in. That cannot be that if they are at risk. Some of the global investors as well, you know, as a knee-jerk reaction, seem to have pulled out some money in the last couple of days. Some have put, you know, uh, fresh investments on hold. What would your message be to the global investors? India remains, as before, an absolutely well-governed, stable government, and also very well, uh, you know, regulated financial market. And as a result, I think the uh, investor confidence which existed before shall continue even now. Our regulators are normally very, very stringent about certain governance practices. And therefore, they should one instance, is, one instance, however much talked about globally it may be, I would think is not going to be indicative of how well Indian financial markets are governed. So many lessons have been learned over the decades. And therefore, I think our regulators have kept our market well in uh, prime and prim condition.